Hello everyone, good day and good afternoon. I think this is my first video for Work Power Energy. This is not a part 2 but part 1. I don't know. Let me check my YouTube video later. I I, I will be putting it on the title but you know. Uh, welcome to another episode of Juffy and we're talking about Work Power Energy for now. This is the 7th and 8th question of our 8th question part 2 of physics this is uh, and i hope my students are watching this is in preparation for their midterm i hope you guys are watching you know and they're probably panicking right now oh no which one i will learn which one i will watch you know at the end of the day guys i think in order to say that you have learned you need to apply it right you need to know how to do it right in order to say that you learn unless Unless you're, we're talking about concepts or, or, or probably names of persons or birthday, you know. If if we're talking about problem solving and math and physics, I think in order to say that you have learned, you need to solve it, right? Oh, I'm gonna try something new, right? This will be the problem, right? You guys uh, screenshot it right now or post the video solve it right now and five four three two one all right so you guys have screen here share it and you probably post the video okay i hope you guys solve it for now you know solve it for now and now that you have solved for it you know we're going to try and solve this and if we get the same answer i'm super happy you know show your answer below or show comment your answer below and you know I hope we got the same answer. Tell me what will be your solution if we have different uh, answers. And yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's solve uh, DZ. Who's DZ? All right. Let's solve DZ first. DZ is speeding along at a 22.8. Oh, this is a girl. Seems to be. DZ. DZ is speeding along at a velocity of 22 as she approached the level section of track near the loading dock of the Witzer roller coaster ride. A braking system abruptly brings 328 kilogram car rider must include it to speed of 2.9 meters per second over a distance of 5.55 meters. Okay, determine the braking force applied to DZ car. Uh, braking force. How about force times distance acceleration? Braking force over. How about let's just do S is equal to one half. Oh, not that this one. Uh, v2 squared is equal to V1 squared plus 2AS. Kinematics for now. You know, kinematics for now. I add V2 squared is 2.9 squared minus 22.8 squared over 2 over 5.55 meters. And that will be the acceleration. What will be the acceleration? Acceleration. Acceleraciones. Why am I saying that? I don't know. I may be from Mexico. No, not I'm not Filipino. Uh, anyways, two times five point fifty-five. Yeah, I, I'm sometimes I'm just enjoying this type of problem. So our acceleration is forty-six point zero. Acceleration is negative 46 point 0748 meter per second squared. Force going leftward or stopping is 328 kilogram times 46.0748 meter per second squared is what? Bless me. Sorry. Fifteen 
15.1125 kilo newton okay that's what is being asked uh determine the breaking force applied to dc score i think that's uh i think that's it Okay, did we make use of the mass? Yes, I think that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it for now. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about, okay. I'm going to solve this using, we have time. I'm going to solve this uh, using our work power energy. I call this Wapiki. Wapiki. You know, uh, 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 a colleague of mine, Wapiki. Or their work is equal to delta P plus delta K. Or a colleague of mine just use Piku. Piku, Piku. Because you could alternate, you know, work. Potential energy is kinetic energy is equal to work, you know. So, we could say that the brakes applied a work. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. We could say that the uh, brakes applied the work. Or we could uh, we could say there's no work because there's no engine. There's no change in potential energy. There is kinetic energy. But we have friction stopping force. Uh, I'm just going to do... Friction stopping. Energy of friction. Okay. And one half, 328. V2 squared minus V1 squared. That's a uh, kinetic energy, right? Is equal to the friction will be equal to the friction force times distance. Divided by the distance is 5.55 meters. Okay. And you guys could see that it's almost the same. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, I'm not looking at the keyboard. As you guys could see, it's almost the same. I just want to show it, you know. Right, so this will become v2 squared minus v1 squared divided by 5.55 times 2 the same denominator times 3 to 8 kilogram but force is equal to mass times acceleration and and 3 to 8 kilogram times acceleration right Divide both sides by 3 to 8. Acceleration will be the same. And we could just get force initially. Anyway. So the answer will be the same. Force is equal to 15,000 or 112.5344 Newton or 15.1125 kilo Newton. Okay. Either do it wapakeo or pekeo. Or use kinematics. Okay. Use kinematics. Okay. I hope you guys, you know, I think that's a pretty easy work power energy problem. It's tough. And there's like a braking system that is applied. Work is, the formula for work is force. Oh, let me, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just a bad teacher probably, you know. If we draw the diagram. Let's say this is a diagram, you know, this is the car, you know, this is she, you know, that's she, you know, that's Blossom, or probably this is she, you know, you know, anyways, so if the velocity 1 is much faster and velocity 2 is much lower, so she didn't change height, right, so there must be a friction or a force stopping the motion, and taking away the energy right taking away the energy therefore i shall conclude that work will be equal 
uh, sorry, or kinetic energy, the loss of kinetic energy will be equal to the work done by the brakes you know, against the car. Okay, that, that's the diagram. And you, could, you could just use what again, right? Anyways, let's continue to question number two. Oh, which question number two? I'm lost. I'm blind. I can't see. Why? Right, anyways. Uh, a bicycle. You are in a bicycle with a total weight of 100 kilogram. Okay, that's one bicycle. That's a pretty large bicycle. Jumping off a 30 meters tall, 40 meters length ramp. The ramp is 20 meters away from you. If you were starting at a velocity of 3 meters per second to accelerate the jump before speed of 10 meters per second. How much weight Probably let's write the the given first. We need to be at 10 meters per second here. There is a frictional work. Frictional work of 10 kilo jo 10,000 joules per meter. So meaning there's friction here. There's friction here. Oh, we need to get this, you know. A change in height is 30 meters. Uh, I think that's it. Velocity 1 is 3 meters per second. Okay. Uh, the question is work. Work, 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 work. All right. So what should be your work if the potential energy is 100 kilogram times 9.81 times height 2 is 30 minus 0 plus 1. That's the potential energy. For the kinetic energy is one half mv squared uh 100 times 10 squared minus 3 squared that's kinetic energy minus frictional work which is 10 key 10,000 joules per meter how many meters that 20 meters for the horizontal length then how about let's get 30 squared plus 40 squared square root is equal to the uh, hypotenuse of the ramp so what's that square root of 900 plus 1600 square root of 2500 so what's that 50 50 plus 50 right so what should be the work done by the cyclist now times 9.5 9.81 times 30 plus 0 0.5 times 100 times parenthesis 100 minus 9 minus 1000 times 70. Huh? Uh, 30 0 0.5 times 100. Oh, this should be plus, right? 100 minus. Alright. So, first off. This is the. So, it seems to me the 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. Nine, 3 squared is 9. So, I think we did this correct. Alright. It seems to me that we have a lot of. Uh, negative 36020 joules. Right? So it seems to me we are at negative work or we lost a lot of work from the bicycle. You know? So in order oh this is the work out. You know work out. This is the work out of the bicycle. You know? Or the work on the bicycle. Okay. So if we uh, meaning we're at a loss. Meaning, if we have to apply or we have to have an equal force, we need to exert or we need to exert. I oh, wait, wait. This is positive. This is positive. Work in. Oh. Okay. This is positive. Okay. Let's do Let's do positive. Work 
103 103 980 okay okay so all right here's the thing okay uh we know how much work must you exert you are the one exerting so there must be an in there must be an intake of work we're talking about the bicycle okay so potential energy you you need to have more work because you're you're gonna you're you're gonna need to have positive work because you're gonna be going up a ramp you know you're gonna be climbing a ramp or a hill you know you, you need to exert work on your bicycle right physically and you know realistically we need to exert work you're going to speed up three meters per second to 10 meters per second you need a lot of work there will be friction stopping you so it will it needs to be additive of the energy that is uh it needs to be additive of the energy that you need to exert okay so that's positive so 103980 joules 103980 joules of work is the thing you need to exert okay again uh sometimes it's uh sometimes it's a little confusing where are you when you go when you are going to put work in or work out okay here's the thing okay this equation we're talking about the bicycle okay we're talking about the bicycle and this is what if you have a positive work this is the work in the bicycle but we're talking about work exert so meaning work exert you need to lose energy you're gonna be exerting energy on the bicycle bicycle work on the bicycle positive and you're gonna lose energy you're gonna lose uh work so meaning you have to be the one in negative in energy the bicycle is oh this should be the answer the bicycle is getting energy because he's speeding off but you're the one who's pushing the pedal on the bicycle you're 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 the one who's gonna be losing energy and when we got a negative energy yeah that's that's weird we're supposed to have positive energy because we're talking about the bicycle you know All right so that's why i double check and probably my equation is wrong the friction here is supposed to be positive because it's additive friction should be additive on the work done or the should be the work by the pedal you know friction is supposed to stop you from moving you know if you're speeding up or you're going up friction is supposed to stop you not support you all okay? right okay 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 let's i think that's it at this time we solved two questions i hope you guys learned something if you guys have any question and we get the same answer you know good for you good for everyone uh, well, it is i'm happy that you guys are so i'm happy that you know my students are like trying to learn you know i'll be more happy if they learn something you know and they ace some you know a certain exam of mine you know anyways uh thanks thanks so much guys for watching and see you guys for more video goodbye